to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be filming a full week of workouts. So we're gonna start on a Monday. I am stretching, just kind of getting myself limber and ready for the workout I'm about to put my body through. I have been really excited to be filming at a new gym. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but to me, it just looks super clean and crisp and like literally nobody cared that I had this camera, which was really helpful. So I am getting on the treadmill. You'll see in another clip shortly, this treadmill runs on its own. I guess it's for sprinting and it really helps you build your endurance. You're kind of going at your own rate. So I am really just trying to kind of see how I do. I ran for one minute, rested for 30 seconds, ran for another minute, rested for 30 seconds. I did that about five times. This is definitely the video for you if you are trying to get back into a workout routine after a while of just kind of binging or getting away from or letting your life get the best of you as far as being consistent in the gym. Here is that clip I was telling you about. So this has no buttons or anything like that. You literally just get on it and you start it like you see how I just like started walking and then the treadmill starts to move so like I said I did this for a couple of rounds I, I want to work myself up but for now this is where I'm at five to six laps one minute sprinting as fast as I could and then we'll get into the next workout soon <music> As you can see, I really needed that rest. It's been a long time since I ran, so I took my time and I'm now getting into my first workout. What I'm doing different in my workout split from here on out is not dedicating so much time to listening to so many other YouTubers and influencers on how they move their body. What I've been noticing about myself, I am really top heavy, so three of the days in the week will be dedicated to my upper body that will be monday wednesday and friday i am also not doing specifically push days or specifically pull days as you can see with the two workouts i've already shown so far i am doing biceps as well as triceps as well as push and pull in the same day I have noticed and learned about my body that I need to learn it for myself. It is unique and unlike any other influencer out there. So I encourage you to do the same. If you are finding yourself bored with your workouts, trying to get back into a routine in the gym, do what's best for you. I'm doing overhead reaches with the dumbbell to work on my triceps as well as my upper back. So I'm really kind of doing compound movements that work out more than one specific area. And that's been really helpful to me. Also want to take note that I have been using lighter weights just because I'm coming back into the gym and this is my personal best right now, even if it is a regression from where I was before. If you are also in that same boat, it is okay. If you have not gone to the gym in a while, you will have to work to get back to where you were when you last went. Uh, whether it was weeks or months or even years if you've been to the gym, it will be a restart in some way. So just keep that in mind. Right now I'm doing single hand overhead reaches with the dumbbells and I'll take you through the rest of my workouts.
Hey guys, so I just finished up with the workout. What I love about this new gym, like the ability to be able to shower and have a workspace. They have a restaurant here if you wanna like eat and they have like all healthy stuff. Like I could literally stay here all day. I really could, <laughs> um, but it is so peaceful. I also love the ability to be able to like film and I don't think anyone is like side-eyeing me or like, oh God, what is she doing? You know what I mean? So I feel like it's helping me be more comfortable. And there's also little like nooks and areas. What is this on my freaking arm? I don't know what happened. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. It just feels really good regardless. Of anything I'm feeling really comfortable in this space I'm glad I got a good workout in you know how when you kind of get out of the rhythm of working out and then like you do it and you feel so much energy and you feel so balanced and it's almost like the world is okay that is exactly how I feel and I haven't felt like this in a really long time so I'm just grateful oh my god I'm just so grateful I'm so blessed and I'm so looking forward to continuing to keep this attitude, to keep this mentality. And this is why I even picked up this camera right now to talk to you guys, because my vlogs are also for me. Like I want to document my health journey. How I feel in this moment right now is like, how I feel in this moment right now, no matter how defeated I feel, if it snows, if I'm cold and I don't feel like getting up in the morning, I need to work out because it makes me feel like how I'm feeling in this present moment. And I need to remember that and I need to refer back to moments like this, like this is why you work out. More than the vanity reasons, more than to just have content to film, this is for me. This is for me. This is for me. So let me take a shower because I worked out way too long today. Okay, happy Tuesday. We're getting right into our leg day today. This set of warm ups is squats with an empty, uh, what are these? What are these bars called? I forgot. But anyways, uh, I feel like I always have brain freeze whenever I get on this voiceover. So I am just showing you different angles. I am doing squats just to kind of warm my body up. And then I'll go ahead and follow this up with RDLs. And you'll see that in one second. Also with no weights, just to get myself nice and warm, nice and limber, stretch my legs a little bit more. Now these RDLs, I am not really bending my knees as much because I'm wanting to kind of hit my thighs as well as my glutes. So as you can see, I'm not really bending my knees that much. I have some plans with this sled, but I did this forwards and backwards about 10 times. I also did it with no shoes on because I really want to feel like I'm digging and I didn't use any weights because I've never used a sled before, but apparently that's really good at burning fat. So there will be more to come on that. I want to kind of experiment with that more and then come back to you guys once I learn a little bit more about the sled. Here you will see me on this machine just pushing myself backwards. This was really intense for me because I never do this machine or this workout, but I know that it's for my thighs, which clearly are not areas of my body that I typically work out. So I did 10 to 12 reps, three sets of these leg workouts, and this was a burner for sure. And just a note about this machine, definitely play with your foot placement. Uh, this is another rep, but I just wanted to show you because I couldn't really show you in the other clip before. My feet are a bit higher up on the board than, you know, exactly parallel to my knees. They are up a little bit higher. And this is to actually target my glutes. I'm kind of doing the same thing with my leg days 
where I'm not specifying, am I gonna be more glute focused or am I gonna be more quad focused? I am just trying to do whatever it is that I feel, have fun with my workouts and just give myself the free range as I'm working out to decide what I'd rather focus on at that point in time. I hope that makes sense. What is a leg day without some single leg kickbacks? So I had to decrease my weight. It was just too heavy. And even that was a lot for me, this one weight. But I am kicking back. I'm typically, I know you're not supposed to really lean forward when you kick, but I have been doing that just to keep my balance. I'm also learning these machines as well. So I am bent a little bit more forward than I'd like to be just to get the groove of this workout. And in the future, I will be sure to stand more straight so that this can be a more effective routine for my glutes. And there we go, leg day is complete. I did it, day two, in the bag. All right, here we are on Wednesday. So it is the middle of the week. I'm doing an upper body day, as I mentioned previously in this video. I'm doing completely different variations and workouts, but all, of course, like I said before, to target my full upper body. So right now I am doing this pulling motion, trying to keep my arms stabilized. I'm not really doing such a hot job here, but it is, you know, a journey and a process, and I hope to get better with the form as I go. I'm then going to do these rope pullbacks. Now, I did different variations of this just to see what feels best for me. And this, when I'm standing, works more of my back, like the traps area, um, kind of trying to work on that hourglass figure. I'm also not pulling super heavy because I don't want to bulk here. I really am trying to lose the fat in this area. So I did that. Now I'm coming to the floor and I'm just on one knee doing the same pullback. I did increase the weight just a little bit because I feel I can handle it more when I'm on my knees. I don't know. I think I just feel more supported. And I will also say that I'm feeling this uh, burn more in my arms and middle back versus when I'm standing, I feel it really in my upper back. Now you could, if you do this variation, use both uh knees and you know you can kneel fully and completely and then you can also go closer to the bar and try different rope pullbacks um but this is just what i did on this particular day i also took the time as you can see here to stretch i didn't record every stretching moment throughout my routines this week but this is just one clip to show you that i am stretching in between my workouts and yeah and now we come on to this machine. Now, I guess you could, if you wanted to, call this a pull day because that's pretty much what I did this entire session. I am doing these back pulls. Now, another thing I love about this gym, they have different rope attachments and this small uh, machine or this small gadget that I was able to attach that puts my arms closer together, really helps me squeeze my back. In any other gym, I've always had the problem of squeezing your back when you pull back, and this uh, attachment just makes it easier to accomplish that. The last workout of the day is this bench 
press or dumbbell press up, I basically grabbed a bench, I put my feet firmly on the ground, and I'm actually pushing the dumbbells up. What I'm making sure to do in this variation is make sure my elbows are coming lower instead of hitting the even right by my chest range. I'm trying to bring them lower to really target my back. I'm also using pretty heavy dumbbells, as heavy as I can go, to get these amount of reps done. I did about 10 to 12, three reps. That's pretty much my standard. And yeah, that was it for this arm day. This week I finished off on a Thursday. I did not make it the next day and I'll tell you why, but this is Thursday, my second and last lower body day of the week. I am starting with a dumbbell routine. I'm pretty much just going to do some RDLs. I did them with pretty light weight so that I have the ability to like practice my form, get that down, really feel everything that's working. So I did that for a few reps. a bench and did some stretching because I'm gonna do some hip thrusts so this is what I usually do just to kind of loosen up my legs my thighs that groin area really get that nice and loose I did pick up these dumbbells I think these were 20 to 25 pound dumbbells um, I could have went heavier but I just was you know familiarizing myself with my area I didn't know how the bench how sturdy the bench was and things like that so I went lighter just to make sure my form was good and I am making sure I thrust at the top I go slower and when I get to the top I try to lock my thighs in I guess um, I try to keep my feet flat on the floor and make sure that I am executing that fully at the top. Also what I did do, I hope I show it here, but I held for 10 seconds at the top on my last rep for the set, just so that I can really get that strong core working, my glutes working, my thighs working, um, and just really feel the burn through there. So I did this as well. Then I came over to the pole to do some single leg Romanian deadlifts. This is so that I can stabilize each leg. In the past, I typically just worked on my full body strength, you know, doing things two arms at a time, two legs at a time. But I really want to start working more on isolation because I do feel my left side is weaker than my right side. So this is some Romanian deadlifts. My form is definitely not the greatest. This week back has really shown me that I need to stay consistent and get my form back together, get my whole workout routine life back together. But I'm being transparent with these videos just to show you that if I can do this, you can do this. I'm in just as much of a struggle as you guys are to stay consistent, to have good form, to really work every muscle group on a consistent basis during the week. So that is just, you know, what I'm showing you on my channel here. Definitely follow along if you'd like to see more full week of workouts. And like this video if you've made it this far. I would really appreciate it. You guys I'm not gonna lie I freaking hate these workouts these lunges are the death of me but I hustle through I have a fairly light dumbbells I think these were 10 pounds and I'm doing alternating lunges just so that I can again work on isolating each leg seeing where I need to work on and definitely my left side has gotten so much weaker than my right side so for me that is now another goal in my fitness routine is to build 
more equilibrium in both my legs. And that was pretty much it. So let me know if you guys like this type of content. Please stay tuned for my next video next week. See you guys soon.